Hello, dear friends. Good afternoon. This is Professor Vakunta uh, talking to you from the U United States. Uh, welcome back. Today we'll be talking about uh, some very interesting stuff uh, relating to uh, parts of the body in my mother tongue, which is called Ngimukoka. So let's get started. I want to keep this video very short in uh, maximum 15 minutes and we'll be done. Okay. So thank you for tuning in and uh, thanks for your great attention. We're going to get started. I will uh, ask the body uh, uh, not too difficult in my mother tongue. So we're going to go part by part. The head, the head is called tuku in my mother tongue. Okay. Tuka, tuku. If there are many heads, you say tubu. So the bu gives you the plurality. The, ne the next part of the body is the eye. Vashu. Vashu, one of them. If there are two, you say vashu. As you can hear again, good friends, it's just a, the, a question of intonation. Vashu, va. But once you raise your voice, you say vashu. Then you're talking about plurality, many eyes. Okay. Then the mouth is called chu. Chu, the mouth. Chu. If there are many mouths, you say chu. All right. The next part of the body is the teeth. How do we how do my people say teeth? We say gua, gua, one tooth. It's gua. If there are many of them, you say gua tu, gua tu. All right. So we're moving on. The next part of the body is uh, uh, the tongue, the tongue that you use in talking. It's called lehku, lehku, lehku. Lehku is one. If you're talking about the tongue of many people. Then you should be talking about lehbe, lehbe, all right? The lip, the lip, the human lip is called wochuke for one of them. Wochuke, one lip. Wochube, that's several lips. So again, ke is singular in most cases, and b is plural in most cases, all right? And then we move on. Your, your knee, is called quitiku, quitiku, the, the knee of your foot, the knee. If there are many knees, you say quitibu, uh, quitibu, all right? And uh, your eye, your eyelashes, the hair that is uh, on your eyes is called nyushu, uh, nyushu, shu, as you, as you, as I said before, is your, is your, is your eyes. So the, the hair that is around your eyes is called nyushu. The well, hair in Bamuka, in Gimukoka, is nyuh, several of them, nyuh, because they're always plural, okay? So nyushu will be a reference to your eyebrows, okay? And your knee, as I said earlier, is kwitiku. Kwitibu is many of them. Kwitiku, one knee, kwitibu, many knees, all right? We're moving on, good friends. We're moving on. It's getting exciting. The chest. How do my people say chest? Fee. Your chest is fee. For example, fia. Your chest. Fia. Your chest. And how about stomach, good friends? How do my people say stomach? Stomach is tub. Tub. Now, this is an exception. I just said a while ago that anything you hear, boo. Uh, takes you to the plurality zone. But this one, this particular part of the body is generally called tub, as if it is many, many stomachs in, involved. But it is just one, okay? And if you are talking about the stomach of more than two people, then what you do is you will pluralize the, the ownership. You will say tobi, which is B is they, you people in plural. Tobi, tobon is my stomach. And top B is your stomachs belonging to, to many people. All right. We're moving on. How do we how do my people say finger? The finger of your, your the finger, the finger of your of your of your of your hand. It's uh vakuwa. Vakuwa. Like one one is vakuwa. If there are many of them, you will say va bugo. Va bugo. Again, uh, underscoring. The, the 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 plurality of the of the part of the body. Okay, now how do my people say your arm? 
your arm in my in game cocker is qui okay qui quill my hand my arm okay if there are many of them like two you will say quit quit okay so that's the that's the, the the other part of the body that that is important of course and uh how about shoulder how do my people say shoulder the shoulder is mb mb one shoulder is mb if you are referring to both of them it will be mb mb he his shoulders mb ha is the your shoulders mb ho is my shoulders okay mb is your shoulder how about how about uh, your back how do my people say back back is lien 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 my back lien your back all right the, how about there's another part of the body that is pretty interesting people give it all kinds of names uh, there's something the people some people call it the belly the belly button or some people call it the the navel navel how do we call that the, or the belly button the navel or belly the belly button i think belly button is american is americanism is is called tua tua okay tua your navel or your belly button and tua my my belly button or my navel all right okay we're moving on the good friends uh, i hope you're you're hanging you get getting the hang of it and you're enjoying uh, how my people uh, uh, do what i generally call linguistic gymnastics with the language because it's a language that is highly tonal as i mentioned in my in my previous uh, my previous video now we're moving on how do my people say the knee knee is critical critical and if there are many of course you do the same Gymnastic, you make it both. You'll be quick to be. So one knee, quick to be. Many knees, quick to be. Okay. So it's actually uh, pretty easy to move, to transition from singularity to plurality in uh, in my mother tongue, if you know how to do the ke and the be. All right. We're moving on. Uh, how do you say toes? Your toe. Vaku wa. Vaku wu. It's very funny because it's like it literally means the child, the child of your of your foot. <laughs> va va in Bamun in Gimkoka is it's a child. But my people use it, uh, I, I believe figuratively, to refer to your to your toe. Va wa. If there are many of them, and many of us have many, praise God. Um, we will say va bu. Again, you're hearing the b, the va bu in the in the plural in the plurality. Okay, then we move on from the from the toe to the fingers. Uh, how do you say finger? Did I say did I mention finger before? Regardless, finger is va ke wo, va ke wo. If there are many, you say va be wo, va ke wo. One of them, va va be wo, va be wo, va be wo. Again, you're getting the b, so that's your 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 fingers. Uh, the fingernail will be ni, ni, the nail is nike, so nike roba, nike roba. That's your fingernail. Nike wuka is the the toenail. Nike wuka, toenail, nike roba, uh, fingernail. All right. How about uh, your your hair? Uh, your hair is called uh, your 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 hair is. Uh, it's a it's a uh, new 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 and your 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 ankle your your soul the soul of your foot the s o l e is called tiawuka tiawuka the soul of your feet tiaku tiawuka okay and uh how about ears? How do my people say and e your ear? How do my people refer to your ear? The ear is called tunuka. Tunuka. As you hear, good friends, you hear the k is one. Okay, it's one ear. If you want to make it plural, you say tunabu. So you go from tunuka, one ear, to tunabu, several ears. So you just all you need to do to get your plural form of whatever part of the body we're talking about, good friends. Is to change the k and to b, tunuk and tunuk, 
Tunuku, one, and Tunubu, many. All right? I hope uh, I'm not losing uh, my listeners. It's an interesting and uh, exciting language. We, we're moving on. The train, the train is not stopping, okay? How do you say hair? Hair, the hair on your body is in your, and it generally it is used uh, in, a, in a plural form for obvious reasons. We, all, we don't have a single hair. We've got many hair. So nyuha is your is your hair. And then how do we say, how do the, the, my, my people say uh, uh, your, your ear? Okay, ear is tunuka, tunuka. And if we have two, like me, it will be tunubu. Tunubu, you go from tunuka, one, to tunubu, several of them. All right? And then we're moving on. We're moving on with the, another part of the body called uh, the neck. How do you say neck? Mia, me, me, that's your, the neck. Mia, your neck, okay? We're gonna, I'm going to talk about uh, possessive adjectives in the next video, how, how you can talk about possession. But uh, I don't want us to confuse this lesson today with, uh, part of the, uh, with uh, uh, possessive adjectives and parts of the body. So me is your neck, okay? And your palm, the palm here, is is uh, mu kuwa. It's like mu is like inside, okay? So my people say uh, mu is like the inside of the hand. Hwak is your hand. Hwak, okay? And the back of your hand is called lien kuwa. Lien is, I mentioned before, that my people call back lien. Now they also use that same, that same, vo that same vocal that same lexis, lexem, for the back of the hand. So lienkewa, okay? Lienkewa is the back of your, your, your palm and the back of your hand, I'm sorry, and the, the, the palm is called mukuwa, okay? Lienkewa, mukuwa, all right? So we are getting close to uh, the end of this video, uh, good friends, and I will be remiss if I did not mention, I didn't say something about uh, private parts. But I'm not going to be vulgar, okay? I just want to use a euphemism in my mother tongue that uh, my people use in uh, to talk about private parts. My generally, when people want to be polite and uh, they want to refer to the private parts of uh, males and females in in my mother tongue, Gimekoko, they will say "fongwab." Literally, it means the things of the body, things that belong to the body. Okay, but from what, like I said earlier, is a euphemism that that we use to refer to the to the male private part and to the female private parts. If you go to my talk to any person from my from my from my village, and you refer to you say you say something relating to the from what, they would understand you referring to to private parts. Uh, of course, there are vulgar versions of it, but this is not the appropriate uh, forum. For me to talk about vulgar vulgar words so i hope this lesson was uh was uh was, was helpful uh gentlemen the gums gums okay the gums are called uh rib uh, rib okay riba, your gums of course i met, might have missed a few things uh in this video so i do encourage listeners to uh to write comments and to suggest uh, to ask me to talk about certain parts of the body that you're particularly interested in, and we'll we'll take it from there the next time. As you might have realized, this video is is uh, devoted to just the external part of your body, the ones that you can see. Uh, it is pretty trying to talk about the internal part of the body because it calls for some for some research. So I'm going to do research, good friends. And next time I'll be talking about the internal parts of the body, like uh, the lungs and the kidneys, uh, and uh, and so on and so forth. But it does need a lot of research because these are technical terms. Uh, so, uh, so I will be talking to some of the, um, the the folks in my village who are medical doctors, and we should be able to come up with a pretty a fairly short video to talk about uh, some of the uh, the, the uh, terminologies that refer to uh, to the internal parts of the body. But so far, so good. I want to take this opportunity to thank you for watching this video. And uh, please uh, click like and make uh, also feel free to, to, uh, to subscribe to this channel because 
I'll be I'll be very constant providing you with with stuff that will enable you to speak my mother tongue. It was nice uh, talking with you. Uh, have a blessed day and God bless you. Bye bye.